and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be making authentic Greek rice pudding. But before we get into the video, make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss none of my videos. Alright, let's get started. So there are so many rice pudding videos out there, but let me just tell you the Greek way, the yaya Greek way, is the way. So this is literally all of the ingredients, not much at all. It's super, super simple to make, but there are ways that you can mess it up. So I'm definitely gonna give you some tips and tricks along the way and just walk through the entire process with you just to make sure you get it just right. So the first thing that we're gonna be doing, I, that's why I kind of have it grouped, um, we're gonna be cooking our rice. You're gonna want a long grain rice. I kind of got sick of basmati for a little bit, so I'm back to jasmine. And we're just gonna be cooking that in a saucepan with some water, just like you normally would. Let that simmer, blah, blah, blah. Then we're gonna be using our milk here. Now, the egg, sugar, and vanilla, we're gonna be mixing up really, really well till it gets kind of like frothy and whipped, if you will. And we're gonna be adding that in a little bit later. Just make sure you don't add that to any of these steps. That's later. And then the cinnamon is just gonna be right on top. Now, for this recipe, I am just using vanilla extract just because that's the way that I know how to make it. I usually, in the last few videos I've been making, like the raspberry banana bread and things like that, I've been using the vanilla bean paste, but for something like this, I'm not gonna do that. I don't want anything to mess with the texture or anything like that. I'm just gonna keep it as simple as possible. So I'm just gonna go grab my apron and we're gonna head over to the stove and get started. <laughs> okay, so we're all over by the stove. Over here, I have my milk, my water, and my rice. So the first thing we're going to be doing is adding in our rice and our water. I know this might be a little bit different than what you're used to, but we're going to add these two together, and then we're going to bring this to a boil. Give this a nice little stir. So we're just going to bring this to a boil, and then once that's boiling, we're going to Lower this down to a simmer, cover it up, and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Okay, so now we're wasting no time. While our rice is cooking, we're just simmering over here. We're going to take our sugar, our vanilla, and our two eggs and just start whipping away. You guys should have something that looks like this. It kind of looks like pancake batter maybe and we're just gonna let this sit just put it aside just until our rice is done cooking and we're ready to move on to the other steps now let's check to make sure our rice is cooked there's no water all right so we're all cooked now we're gonna take the lid off leave this on low and then what we're going to do is we're going to start adding in our milk. So, you can add this in, leave this on low. Okay. And then you're just going to continuously stir this while you're cooking it on low heat for about five minutes. So we're going to set our timer again. And then you're just going to want to do this until everything is nice and well combined and that it's not runny anymore and it becomes starts to become to get thicker. I moved to a rubber spatula this time because I know some of you guys in the comments were cringing when I used a metal spoon against the metal. It's 11-11, make a wish. Alright guys, so I would say that we're nice and well combined. I just raised the heat up a little bit from just the lowest setting and then I did this for like another minute, minute or so just to make sure nothing was runny at the bottom. So we're all good now when I kind of swipe back and forth, there's no milk just sitting in there running. So now is when we're going to be adding our sugar, vanilla, and our egg mixture. Add that right in there, see how much thicker that is, it's kind of like a pancake batter. Our sugar kind of wouldn't settle at the bottom a little bit there. So now we're just going to mix this all up and around just till this is nice and well combined. And then once we're done with that, we're ready to 
put it into our container or our platter, whatever it is you guys want to use, and then we're going to let that sit and cool, add our cinnamon, and once that's completely cool, we'll be ready to try some. Alright, so I'm going to take it right off the heat, and we're going to go grab a platter, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to fit in this platter. I hope it does. I never know, like, ugh, what size platter I should be using. But I'm just going to give this another quick little stir before I put it in here. Let's hope it fits in here. No. Get it together. Mm, it fits. Make sure this is nice and evenly distributed. Okay. And this is still going to thicken up a lot once everything is cold. But you should have something that looks like this. And now I'm just going to add in a bunch of cinnamon because I love a bunch of cinnamon. I'll probably even add more afterwards. Alright, so we're just going to let this cool and then we're going to come back once it's all cold and thick and everything and we're going to try some. Alright guys, so it's time to pull this bad boy out of the fridge. How good does this look, you guys? Okay, so I'm getting a little anxious, and I could probably let this sit in there for a little bit longer, but I have to try some. I am so excited to try this, you guys. So, so good, you guys. I'm obsessed. I love rice pudding. I don't care what anybody says. It's so, so good. I love adding all the cinnamon. It's super creamy. It's nice and sweet. You have that cinnamon spice. So, so good. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What your family recipe is like, if it's different than mine, if it's similar. Let me know, but that's all I have for this video today, you guys. I hope you liked it, and I hope you learned something new. If you did like it, make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss any of my videos. If you want to get my exclusive nutrition tips, healthy food recommendations, and delicious recipes, just like this one, then make sure to head over to my description box, click the link, and join the fam. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.